Hello Chatboys out there, today in this vlog I'm going to be telling you guys all about what I got up to on my week. On my Monday I got up ready for work, I was doing a 10 to 2 and my dad and older sister and younger brother were already at work. Older brother at work replacement, younger sister at hers and mum was asleep and I just listened to a bit of music and was just watching some TikTok whilst getting myself ready for work and then I locked up and headed off to work and I was a little bit early up to work so just before work I popped off to one of the flower shops I got some flower shops on there that I'm going to show you guys now such lovely colours on these flowers also loving that, love all the pretty roses. Then I was just having a chat with the flower shop keepers in there. I then got some snaps of some of the plants from the plant session that I'm gonna show you guys now. I love the plant session so much, all the pretty patterns on the plants and the lovely greens, all the plants hang from the windows, looks like a little jungle in there. I then head off to sort of charge shop and have a look in there. I then popped off to the car shop and got myself a drink and some stuff on there just before work. I then got to work, got clocked in and put my bag and coat away and it was just me and two other cars on shift. I was pretty quiet to start off with so we just getting nice like, cleaning jobs done and then it started to pick up and we had a lot of the workers come in so I was just chatting with the workers making a fuss a lot of the cute dogs that were coming in and was wanting food and drinks clean tables so some food and drink orders and bill taking and some drinks making and then I was just cleaning up some tables and then I had to bring in the new stock in from the shed and put that away and we had a great music players playing and I had a few coconut milk hot chocolates and cups of tea and had a great team on and then one of my colleagues unfortunately had to go home early as he wasn't feeling very well and I was only supposed to be doing 10 till 2 so I ended up doing 10 till 3 as he wasn't feeling very well and so my colleague who I was left with was like your supervisor for the afternoon I was like no pressure but we absolutely slayed we worked really well as a team she was on coffee and I was on bar and she's off to Australia for a few months and then she's off to uni and I'm really going to miss her and we had a lovely afternoon and it had been quite busy and then it calmed down and I was just cleaning lots of tables getting nice and tidy before the people who were on shift after us came on and one of my supervisors came on at three and they'd been making some cookies in the afternoon and they got one for me and my colleague he was just leaving and they put in a little bag and it was really sweet of them to do so and then I clocked off and got chased into a jumper that I had in my bag that I brought with me to work and then met one of my family friends who I used to work with and you know works in co-op and met him and one of our workers and his fiance and we sat outside for a bit and had a lovely catch up and I had a hot chocolate and then it started to rain a bit so we came inside had a bit more of a chat and it was just lovely to see them and then I headed off to Audi and got some mini pancakes and strawberries and blueberries and bumped into my friend and his fiance who'd gone into Audi as well so we chatted some more and then I headed back and on the way back I got two selfies in front of some pretty green patterned leaves showing off my new jumper which I absolutely love that my bestie Tash picked out for me and it's the blue white and pink one that I just I'm loving I love striped jumpers if you, if you haven't noticed I love them and then I got back and my mum and dad were just back from being out and my old brother was back from workplace and, and then I was just listening to a bit of music doing some drawing and colouring in and was just watching some episodes of Doctor Who I then caught up on Home and Away and was just watching a bit of Fire Brown and then watched a bit of Escape to Country and Garden Rescue and had some tea and some biscuits and was just reading a bit more of Red, White, Moil, Blue and then I got this sent to me in the post, my subscription yes I'm cool enough, I have a subscription, I love socks 
and these ones have little polka dots on which I love and then I was just watching some of these of friends and then for tea we had pizza and then I finished writing my journal and put that away and then I was watching the UK soaps and then I was just watching a bit of Ever After and then after that I headed off to bed and then I had Tuesday Wednesday off and it felt so good not to have to set an alarm and I got up on my Tuesday after a nice lion I then got showered and changed and had some of my mini pancakes with some strawberries and blueberries with a cup of tea and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. It was so delicious. I was then just catching up on Neighbours on Amazon Prime and after I'd had my shower, I got a snap of me topless showing my progress as I've been trying to eat healthily and be going on lots of walks and I'm going to show you guys the photo of that now. I'm really impressed with my progress, trying not to eat as many sugary things, trying to be good. Sometimes it's not as easy as it could be, but I'm working on that. And I posted it onto my Instagram and I was like, shall I send it, shall I not send it? And I was like, screw it, post it. And everybody was liking it and loads of people were commenting saying how good I look, which is really sweet. And sometimes I feel like an absolute blob. And then when you get people when your family and stuff say it, you're like, you're just saying it because like, you, you're related to me. But then when one people are saying it, it must be true. And also lots of people were mentioning about this bracelet that my bestie made me. And I just love it. Always wear that. And also lots of people always comment on my wings. I need to get some more wings actually. And yeah, so I'm just loving my progress. And then my dad got back from being at work and he went off to bed. And then me and my mum, went down to my grandma's and I got some so that was some of the flowers that my grandma has and she always has lovely bouquets of flowers in her house and I'm going to show you guys a picture of that now such pretty flowers then I had some lunch on there I just had a tuna sandwich and a cup of tea and she gave me she's a feeder she loves to feed as all grandmas do and I was going to make the sandwich myself and she's like I'll do it I'll do it so she made my a tuna sandwich, which was very nice of her to do so. And I did help open a tin for her. And then I made my I made my tea and she gave me this little like Christmas cake thing, which was very nice that she had. Always has lots of bits of cake. And then I FaceTimed my younger sister and my dad came over and was helping set my grandma's new bed up. And then we were just watched a bit of Escape to Country and my dad had gone back home and then I got a cute mo selfie from my grandma's golden mirror she has in her living room let me show you guys now love that golden mirror so much then me and my mum headed back and my older brother was back from being at work placement I was then watching Escape to Country Home and Away and Far Brown with a bit of my journal just a bit of music and was hiding at my office and my dolls and dollhouse and then I was just watching some TikToks and posting some new TikToks and reading a bit more of Red, White and Royal Blue. And then I got ready to go off to Jigsaw Youth Club volunteering and we had a charity event and I'm going to show you guys some photos I got from there. such a good evening and the mayor even turned up aka my boss the boss of my what I work in is also my task mayor and it seems very impressive when I say I work for the mayor and we did a quiz and had some little bits of food like little nibbles and then one of the lads that go to the youth club him and his mum had decorated this cake with the Jigsaw logo on and it tasted so good and looked amazing and yeah it was just such a lovely evening then I got back and for tea I had spaghetti and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now the spaghetti bolognese was so good I love spaghetti so much it's probably one of my favorite things to eat and always have to have a ton of parmesan cheese on there then after that I was just watching DK soaps and finished writing my journal I put that away and then I was just catching up on Waterloo Road 
I had some cereal and then I went off to bed and then on my Wednesday I got up, had some toast and a cup of tea for my breakfast, the other was all at work, mum was asleep and younger sister at hers and older brother at work placement and I then got ready to go meet up with one of my besties Tash for a coffee catch up and just before that I popped off to another flower shop and got some flower starts that we'll show you guys now. Such lovely roses, I love roses, they're probably one of my favourite flowers to get snacks of those and dahlias. Then I went off and met Tash for our coffee catch up, a coffee one, and I had a caramel frappe and a bit of Victoria sponge cake, and I'm gonna show you guys a photo of that now. It was so good, I love Victoria sponge cake so much, and the caramel frappe as well. We stayed in there for a little bit, and then we went off and had a look around sort of charge shop, and we went into Alston B, this is a door bottle shop on the high street, and I got a snap of this little shelving unit with some dried flowers on, that I'm gonna show you guys now. Absolutely love it in there, and then I got some more of the biscuits from there, and I'm going to show you a clip of that now. So I got some more of these biscuits from Alcyon B, a shop off the high street, and it's just so pretty, and I love the patterns on them. Two of them are flowers, one of them is pink, and then this is like a pale whitish pink one, and then this one's a lavender one with lovely like plant pattern on and I love the little specks of gold dust on them. These are so delicious. I had some the other week and I always try to save them and like tear little bits off now and again and I just love them so much and can't wait to tuck it to them. So you taking bits off them to save them with a cup of tea. I love to dunk them in my tea and they're just so soft and so delicious and so beautifully decorated. Alcyon B is such a lovely shop. They sell stationery and toys for kids and fancy dress and jewellery. I've got a few gifts from there from like there for my family and friends and got a few things from me from there and definitely go check them out on Instagram at Alcyon B and yeah I can't wait to check into these and yeah they're just so stunning. These biscuits are so good, didn't last long. And then we went off and had a look around some other child shops and went into one of the book shops and into W. Smith. And then we went off to our workplace and had some lunch from there. And I had a chili dog with some halloumi fries and a hot chocolate with all the bells and whistles on. My colleague who's on shift went a little bit overboard, but it was definitely worth it and it was so good and I'm going to show you a photo of that now. Chili dog and halloumi fries were so delicious and then we let our food go down and then we went off for a bit of a walk and we ended up going off down to our town's castle where I got some snaps of the castle and I'm going to show you guys those now. Town's Castle is so beautiful and I really want to do a tour of there someday and a beautiful afternoon tea there and it's just so pretty and always lovely having a walk around the grounds they're so well kept and I love the water fountain in the courtyard and then Tash got some snacks of me around the castle and I want to show you guys those now. Always gets my good side. Then we went off to the nearby grave where my ground, like graveyard where my ground pee is laid to rest. And I actually couldn't find his grave because he's got a cross on there because we haven't got a tombstone yet for him. So I was looking all over and I was like, I'm sure he's down here somewhere. And then Tash found him, so I just went into high grounds and then need to like go down again and freshen up a bit because some of the flowers are dying a bit so me and my mum and grandma are going to freshen up soon and then 
we head off for a bit more of our walk and then Tash had to head home and then I made way back and then I got back and I was just watching Escape to Country and Home and Away and Firebrand and reading more of Red, White and Royal Blue and then for my tea I just had some bacon butties and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. Bacon butties were so delicious and after that I was just watching UK soaps, finished watching my journal and then put that away and then I was just watching a bit of Doctor Who and listening to a bit of Kylie working on some new illustrations and then I got myself ready to head off the bed and got my uniform ready for work the next day and I was doing a 10 till 5 and then on my first day I got up ready for work and I was doing 10 to 5 and the others were at work, older brother at work placement and younger sister at hers and my mum was asleep and then I locked up and headed up to work and just before work I went off to one of the flower shops and I got some flower shops that I'll show you guys now. I just love flower and plant photography so much and just love it in these flower shops. I also got some plant stats on there, let me show you guys now. Love all the pretty plant pots and the suckers and cactuses from there. Then I got to work and I got clocked in and put my bag and coat away and it was me and two other colleagues on shift and it was pretty quiet to start off with and it got quite busy and we had quite a busy lunch rush so I was wearing lots of food and drinks, cleaning tables, doing food and drink orders and bill taking and cleaning lots of tables and had some people sitting outside and inside so I was cleaning tables inside and outside as well and I had a lot of quick little cups of tea and hot chocolates and then I got to have a lunch break and so I set my alarm for when my lunch break was over so that I did go over time on my lunch break and I went off and sat on table 12 and had a beef and chilli with a coconut vanilla milkshake and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. It was so delicious, really enjoyed that and then sat down on the comfy sofa and it's just so comfy and was reading a bit more of red, white and royal blue and then my lunch break was over, the alarm had gone off so I turned that off put my plate and stuff away and put my book back in my bag and then continued on with my shift and was just doing some cleaning jobs, cleaning some more tables and it quieted down by then. And then my mum and grandma popped in, they came in for a cup of tea and coffee and some cake. So I was chatting with them and then they headed off and then from two-ish till five, it was just me and one of a colleague on shift and so we were just getting those cleaning jobs done, cleaning up some tables and the last bit of my shift just dragged and I just wanted to go home and sleep and then it got to five and I was finished and free to go Then clocked off and got my bag and coat and got picked up and then got back. I then was watching Home and Away and Escape to Country and listened to a bit of music, doing some drawing, colouring in and my old brother was back from work placement and he went off to go to rugby and my older sister was over and she comes over on Thursdays for tea and we had chicken curry and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. The chicken curry was so delicious and after that my older sister headed home, my older brother got back from being at rugby and I was then watching DK soaps and just a bit of music. I was then just watching some episodes of Glee, I've gotten back into watching Glee and then I went off the bed and on my Friday I got up ready to go off to morning group and I got the shower and changed and had some breakfast and my mum got up and was supposed to be having a phone meeting but it didn't end up happening and my older brother was at work placement, it was his final day at work placement and then he's back off to uni to do his uni course and then he'll be in another placement soon so it was his last day and the place he was at got him a mug to miss the panty on with a hedgehog on which is very cute and my older sister was at work 
younger brother at work and younger sister at hers and my mum was going to drop me to the morning group but unfortunately we had no car because my dad had our main car and then my uncle had to borrow a small car so luckily we called up my morning group and they came and collected me and then we got to morning group and we were making some biscuits and I'm going to show you guys a clip of those biscuits that I made now here are my biscuits I made at morning group they're white and milk chocolate they're so pretty they came out so well I was a little bit worried that they were all going to stick together they did kind of stick together but I was able to tell which one was which and they set well so I was able to cut them out and there's about 10 in there and they will not last long with my siblings and yeah really happy with how they turned out came out really well and then I ordered a buddy search for me and my younger sister as my younger sister was coming down to stay. My dad went to pick her up from the train station after being at work. I then went off to collect those from buddies and then on the way back I went off to one of the flower shops and I got some flower sacks that I'm going to show you guys now. Just brought in a load of fresh flowers so I was able to get a load of lovely colourful flower starts from there and then I was just chatting with the flower shop kids in there. I then got a mer selfie of some lovely flowers and I'm going to show you guys that selfie now. Let's know how much I love a mer selfie. Then I got some plant starts from there that I'm going to show you guys now. I love that little plant pot with the face on, it's so pretty. Then I went off and I had like one sort of charge shots and then I went off into one of the other flower shots and I got some flower shots in there that I'm show you guys now. Such lovely roses and all the smells so good in there and they had some new flowers in as well so I timed it perfectly to go into the flower shops to get some flower starts from there and then I got some slots of some of the suckers and cactuses and I want to show you guys those now they're so beautiful then I got back and my younger sister was back and my dad had gone to bed and my mum had taken my grandma for a doctor's appointment and it was lovely to see my younger sister and we just watched a bit of friends and then I had my buddy's lunch and a cup of tea and also treated myself to a Belgian bun I've been being good and thought I deserved a little treat always good to have a bit of treat now and again and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now I love buddies, they're so good, the salmon just are so delicious and then I was just watching some TikToks and vlogs and listened to a bit of music and did some TikToks and posted those and then I was just coming in some of my new illustrations and I'm going to show you guys a clip of those now. These are some of my new illustrations, absolutely love the colours. This one's a nice maroon colour, kind of plum colour. She's got a hard cut dress on with some gloves and a pearl necklace and a dangly earring. She's got black hair on one side and long pink curly hair and she's got these lovely big maroon coloured blackish colour boots because it's like I, I coloured them in black and then decided that I'd put a hint of maroon you can kind of see the hint of maroon plum colour like that and then this one here she's got some green eyeshadow and green little sparkly lips if you can see zoomed in a bit she's got like sparkly lips and green eyeshadow and she's got these sparkly like earrings and then this one here has got a necklace that says love on and she's got a red earring in and I love this one's face her eyes I love drawing eyes the the winged eyeliner I flipping love winged eyeliner the eyelashes the lips the eyebrows and then she's got some gloves on and she's got a, a red 
ring on and then she's got some boots with like lace on and then this one here has like green netting gloves on like fingers hand gloves so you have, you have you can just see that there and yeah i absolutely love these illustrations and i love this one's pearl necklace really loving colouring them in it gives them that little extra bit of sparkle and i just love the winged eyeliner the heels the lashes the eyes are my favorite thing to draw and the high heels big hair love it and then i was just reading a bit more of red white and royal blue and just a bit of kylie a bit of anya a bit of cold blue got such a large range of music taste and then for my tea i had some hot dogs and i'm going to show you guys a photo of that now the hot dogs were so delicious then after that i then finished writing my journal i put that away and then i was watching the uk soaps and just listened to a bit of music and just some drawing and coloring in and then i watched beetlejuice i love that film so much apparently they're doing a second one which i'm so excited for and yeah i cannot wait for that and then I was just watching some vlogs and TikToks and just tidying up my office and my dolls and dollhouse. And then I was just doing some colouring in of the colouring on my phone, which is so therapeutic. I love that. I was then watching Letters to Juliet, which is such a great film. I haven't seen it in so long and recorded that. And then I went off to bed. And then on my Saturday, I got up, showered and changed and had some toast and a cup of tea for my breakfast. And my dad was sort of stuff on the house. Older brother's on his Xbox, old sister at hers, younger brother at his, and younger sister at my mum was still asleep. And then I got ready to go off and meet Tash for a coffee catch up and a little stroll. And I met her and we got some coffee and hot chocolate for takeaway and then head off for a walk. And she got a coffee and I got a, I got a hot chocolate. She got an Americano and I got a hot chocolate. I got a white chocolate and rice hot chocolate, which was so delicious. And then we went off on a little stroll and got a cute snap in front of Otan's church clock tower. And then we went off and had a lovely stroll and she got a snap of me and followed this little door. Then we'll show you guys now. Always get such great stats of me. And then we were just having a lovely stroll and it was a lovely sunny day, lovely blue skies. And then she had to head off as she was getting ready to go off into town and then was going off to hand do. And then I made my way back and I got back and my dad had got back from dropping my old brother down to the Wobber Club where he was getting the coach off to a Wobber game in Bath that he was playing. And so I wished him luck just before I headed off on my walk and coffee catch up with Tash. And then my dad brought me up to the garden centre, which was very nice of him to do so. I did say I'd walk, I didn't mind, but he said, you'd already been on a big walk. So he dropped me up there and I got up there and I got some flowers. So that's first of all, I'm going to show you guys now. Spring is definitely on its way. I'm loving all the snowdrops and all the lovely flowers starting to pop up. There were some lovely red and white ones last time that I couldn't find, so I was a bit disappointed, but I was very happy that I was still able to get some lovely flower starts and lovely colourful flower starts in fact. And yeah, I just love flower snaps. Flower shopping makes me so happy. And then I went into the plant section and I got a clip of the little plant section they have in there that I'll show you guys now. Look at these beautiful, colourful plants here. They're so pretty. Love the plant section in the garden centre. There's so many plants to see. It's amazing. All of these pretty succulents and plant pots. Here. And over here we have these ones here, which are so pretty. I love these patterns on these plants and the lovely colours of the greens and oranges and reds. They're so lovely. And all the pretty plant pots over here. So you can see 
I love these pretty plant pots. There's so many lovely plants. Absolutely love it. I then got some plant photography on there and we'll show you guys the plant photography we got from there now. After the plants are just so much, all the pretty plants on the plants and the suckers and cactus section. I could stay up in the plant section in the garden centre all day if I could. Love it up there. I just find it so therapeutic up in the garden centre and then I came across these little miniature of like a train and a little greenhouse and I'm going to show you guys a clip of that now. I love these little miniature houses. This little greenhouse here is so cute, so detailed and there's a train that I, I know my family friend would absolutely love. He has a train set and it's so impressive and then this little bookshelf here so detailed it's so cool i love these little things here so cute i love it all the little details i then got a snap of some pretty plant pots that i'm gonna show you guys now so pretty i love all the lovely pretty plant pots and then i came across this valentine's card and i'm going to show you guys a clip of that now look at this valentine's card i found it says plant one on me so cute if only had someone to give it to just kidding i didn't even need a man and yeah i'll find my prince charming eventually for now i'm just happy being me and just living my life wherever they may be they are probably like me pushing a poor door but yeah i'll find them eventually and then i went off to the cafe and I got a bit of cake and a pot of tea and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. I very much enjoyed that. I had a bit of blueberry Victoria sponge cake. The frosting was so good and got two and a half cups of tea out of my pot of tea which I was very happy about. Then I headed off to go home and on the way out I came across this statue and I'm going to show you guys a clip of that now. Just came across this on the way out. Got this mug here, positive vibes. You know I love a good mug and it's so cute. I love a mug with a quote on. And this statue here reminds me of the film Night at the Museum. That's the one where it's like, dum dum, give me gum gum. And also I love these little Planters that remind me of high possa. You just need to put a little scowl on there and it could be a little high potter planter. And yeah, I just love these little statues and all these little plants. Just bloody love the garden centre. A very successful garden centre trip. I then made way back and I got back and I was just watching a bit of Moulin Rouge and i love that film so much and was listening to a bit of music and doing some drawing and coloring in and was just sorting out my beat up doll and doing some coloring in and then i was reading some more of red white and royal blue i've almost finished that and apparently there is a second film on the way which i cannot wait for and then i got myself ready for work i was doing work six till close and I got dropped up there, got in, got clocked in and put my bag and coat away and I got straight on with the clothes jobs and cleaning jobs and it was very, very busy. It was state night, so we had quite a lot of bookings, but me and my three other colleagues, there was four of us on, as it was quite a busy event, we needed quite a few of us on. So we absolutely smashed it, got us a cleaning jobs and clothes jobs done and I just went out some food drinks, clean tables and it went very well. I was a little bit nervous with taking all these different steaks over, but they're really good and they're like, this steak is on your right, this is on your, this is your left, this is on your right. 
this and that, this and that, and was really good with the kitchen stuff, or really good with like letting me know what I was taking, because I have no idea which steak is which. I didn't even realise there were so many different types of steak. But yeah, it was a really good evening, went really quickly, you know what they say, time flies when you're stressed and busy, and I had a few coconut milk cups of tea that really did help, and then I finished, we finished about 11.30ish, clocked off, took my bag and coat, and then one of my colleagues I was on Sheffield, he'd finished at 10, and he joined the kitchen staff as the kitchen staff at 9. He joined them for drinks, and then he was able to drop me home. And I got back, put my work clothes away, and got into my PJs, and then for my tea, I had cheese and potato pie, and I'm gonna show you guys a snack with that now. It was so delicious. I then finished off writing my journal, put that away, and then was just watching a bit of Netflix, and then I went off to bed, and then on my Sunday, which is today, I got up after a nice lion and had some toast and a cup of tea for my breakfast, and was just watching a film with Emma Thompson and Ali James, I think she is the one from Mamma Mia 2, who plays young Donna, I think that's her name, and it's called Love, What's Love Got To Do With It? And it's such a good film. And then my dad got up and he was sort of stuff on the house. And my mum and myself were then just watching a bit of this animal documentary. And my older brother had gone off out. And older sister was at hers, younger brother at his, and younger sister was still asleep. And I then was just doing some more illustrations and coloring in and just watching some vlogs and TikToks and listening to a bit of music. And I am now off to go to my workplace to go watch his musician who's coming in to perform. And I'm meeting my colleague and one of our mates there. And I'm probably gonna have a bit of lunch there. And then I'm gonna head back, probably chill for a bit. And I'm back in later on doing five till 10. And then I got the next three days off. So I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, I will see you guys with a bit more of the vlog coming later on. I'm back. It's a little bit later on in the day now. I went off to my workplace with one of my colleagues and her kids and one of our mates who we used to work with and had a lovely catch up with them. And we watched this musician who comes in to perform on Sundays and he's so good. He does songs from like the 90s and 80s and always gets us singing along and it's always such full of good songs and it was just lovely and I had some halloumi fries and a hot chocolate and then treated myself to a sticky toffee pudding and I'm going to show you guys photos of that now. So delicious. Then I got a snap of these pretty lilies that have been dyed and I want to show you guys a photo of that now. So pretty. Then we stayed for a little bit and we're just chatting and the kids were doing some colouring in and we just had such a lovely afternoon, nice and chilled. And then me and my mate walked back whilst one of our colleagues dropped my colleague and her kids home as they were heading off and they lived not too far from our colleague and so they went off and then on the way back just before leaving to walk back I got a selfie from one of the mirrors in my workplace that I'm going to show you guys now. Love that mirror, always get such great mirror selfies on there. Then me and my mate walked back and had a lovely chat on the way home and we were just having a lovely catch up. Then I got back and my mum and dad had just got back with my grandma from going to collect her to bring over for tea and they'd gone to the shops to get the stuff for the Sunday roast. And I then got back and I was watching some TikToks and vlogs writing a bit of my journal and just a bit of music and doing some drawing and colouring in. And then my old brother got back from being out and my younger sister came down and we were just watching a bit of TV. And then I was just reading a bit more of Red, White and Royal Blue. Then I got myself ready to go off to work. I was doing five till 10 
and I got dropped up to work by my dad. I got to work, got clocked in and put my bag and coat away and then I was just doing lots of cleaning jobs and getting started on the clothes jobs and it was pretty quiet to start off with and I had a few coconut cups of tea and was just chatting to some of the workers that came in and then it got quite busy with the quiz and so I was just serving lots of food and drinks, buying lots of food and drinks and cleaning tables and doing some food and drink orders and bill taking, paying lots of pints and then I finished at 10 I then clocked off and got my bag and headed off and I didn't need a coat as it was actually quite humid and I got picked up by my mum, got back and I then got my uniform ready for work the next day. I'm doing a 9 till 2 and I'm off for 3 days and I cannot wait and on the Wednesday me and Tash are planning to go off to the mall have some food and do a bit of shopping and just have a nice catch up which I'm looking forward to and I then had my Sunday roast and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. I had my Sunday roast and then I had a sprig of donut for pudding and I'm going to show you guys photos of that. It was so delicious and the sprinkled donut as well. It had that with a cup of tea. I then finished writing my journal and put that away and I'm now off to go to bed as I have an early start tomorrow. I hope you guys have all had a lovely week and had a lovely weekend and all will have a lovely rest of your new week. Please like, comment and subscribe and I shall see you with a new vlog coming very soon. Bye.